Hello, my name is John Burkhart. I'm the founder and chief creative officer of TBC London. So I really love doing workshops. I hate the term workshop. It sounds like a lot of work. So what I've done is I've put in interactive play techniques into my workshops where people don't know what's coming. I have a little leather bag of tricks called my magic bag of tricks um, that has hundreds of little Japanese erasers that somehow have to work into your content and people have to pick them out of the bag quickly and make content and come back and get another one and oh I want that unicorn oh but you better earn that unicorn by getting another idea done. So we basically create a spirit of fast, fun, energetic content creation in the workshops but also I am totally digital but 100% analog so I go out and print loads of cards and create card games like the A to Z of ballsy content. So I love, love, love it when people tweet me content that they think is ballsy, which obviously stands for balanced, actionable, long-term, likable, surprising, and eucentric. When people find content that they think meets those six criteria, I'm like, oh my goodness, Kim Kardashian, the jelly mold of her backside, the, the, the picture that broke the internet, you know, if you find out that Firebox actually created that jelly mold, you need to tell me and I'll print it up on a card and thanks to Moo, I will get it out there and we'll use it days, if not hours, after it breaks. Um, so I basically go through the A to Z and I get people to tweet me, agencies I work with tell me I think this should be on your, in your ballsy set um, of uh, the A to Z of ballsy content. So that's kind of the positive side of getting agencies and brands excited about me essentially pimping their wares and the good stuff they do. But I have to be honest, sometimes the only way to really get clients' attention is to talk about the worst crimes against humanity ever created in marketing, which have been corporate brand tweets. Some of these have ended up on my friend um, John Mortar's condescending corporate brand page, but if they haven't, um, or if they have, I usually print them out onto a card and turn it into a little game. Could also be a drinking game for kind of post-workshop frivolity. Um, for example, when I get people in a workshop to, when I show them a card and they're like, oh my gosh, that tweet really happened? And you're asking me to sell this as if you're the client and I'm a junior creative in an ad agency? They love the fact that, oh my goodness, I've got to sell the Golf Channel hijacking Martin Luther King's anniversary of his I Have a Dream speech to get people to give them their golf dreams. And they love the challenge of coming up with something so ridiculous. But I think what happens in their brain is they think, I could start taking a few more risks. Whatever I come up with, it's not gonna be as bad as hijacking sort of Martin Luther King's famous speech to get more people to subscribe to a channel or being selling tin spaghetti um, and, and sort of co-opting sort of a war where two and a half thousand people died, um, the, the battle that was Pearl Harbor. So um, all in all, people learn more through play. 99% of people learn more through interactive play and games. An eight hour or four hour, even a two hour workshop feels really long and it has the word work in it. So if I can get people excited about learning in a different way, then I found that the penny drops quicker and we can get to the pub quicker and talk about how we can really change things. And you're not gonna believe this, but one of the things that people like to do is they like to throw things at me. So whenever I'm rabbiting on a bit like I am now, I give people thousands if not hundreds of ginger projectiles, kind of like this, uh, and they can throw them at me and stop me when they want to ask a question. So there's no kind of raising your hand like some school thing. It's all about the balls. And also these as voting mechanisms, priceless. Some of my workshops, people have come up with hundreds of ideas, and they've come up with more ideas, literally because they want more chances of, of, of getting their friends to chuck things at them because they're so jealous, because they're amazing. Or they come up with really silly ideas, again, just to have balls chucked at them.
Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.